Hi, my name is Kevin Curtis Barr, and I would like to uh, talk about this painting of mine today. It's called Seat of Mercy. And when I painted Seat of Mercy, um, I painted it over a course of time, maybe about a year or two. And I just painted different elements of the painting. Uh, in a painting, you see like clouds, which symbolizes the earth, of course, sky, skies above, a dove, which symbolizes the Holy, the Holy Spirit, and then you have eyes, like God's eyes, watching over the world, and then um, you have praying hands, and one of the praying hands is the hands of a black saint, and then the other one, you can tell by the tip of the hands is the hands of a white saint. And then a drop that you see coming down, that red drop, it's not a teardrop, but it's like a drop of blood. And then um, the formation of the clouds, you see the heart, you see like a horizon, you see like a horizon in the painting, and and then you have these clouds that are like wings that uplift the heart, or kind of like uplifting love. And then you have mountains in the background, and you have skies, and you have a couple of trees, um, some light coming through that tree, and then you have another tree down here. And uh, like I said, when I think of Seat of Mercy, I think of God's forgiveness. And as we all go through life, we're going to need that at times. And it's one of my favorite paintings. It's, it's, it's open to a lot of interpretation. And I like doing religious paintings, but I like doing paintings that express symbolism. And um, I hope you like this painting. I hope you, I hope it reminds you of having faith in God. And we don't have faith in people, but we must always remember that God uses people. When we pray, we pray about situations. We never know who God is going to use on our behalf. And we never know what direction we're going to be led in. That's kind of how this painting came about. It's like I didn't know like what direction I would be going in when I painted this. I don't consider my world myself the world's greatest painting. And uh, this is not like painting a portrait or painting somebody's face. To me, it has a deeper meaning. Um, also, before I end this video, under, underneath the praying hands are some flowers and some roses, which are Kind of difficult to see, I guess, to see some of the roses at the top. But as you look here, some roses there, and some other flowers. And then there's a butterfly uh, underneath the veil of it. And um, I hope you like seeing the painting. I hope you like hearing me talk about it. Um, and I hope you remember to always hold on to your faith. Because as we hold on to our faith... It's easy to make the impossible happen in our lives. I'm still believing for some impossible things to happen in my life. They're not going to happen over, not over, overnight. And I love, I love the paint, and I also love doing comics. If you look deeper into my profile, one of my best characters that I like is Tiger Lee, the origin of Tiger Lee. And I'm still working on that comic book. Seems like it's taking me forever to really get it illustrated out. But um, I'm really having to use my faith to get that accomplished. And if you are a praying saint out there and you're watching this video, just keep me in prayer that I finish that project and many others as time goes on. God bless you and have a great day.